I'm a pastor of a local church and work for a national Christian radio network. Uh, most of the uh, listeners and callers we've had in our radio station uh, have been saying they won't be voting for you because they're disillusioned because you seem to keep chopping and changing your beliefs uh, just, just to get a popular vote with regards to things like marriage. Why should we vote for you? Well, on the question of uh, marriage equality, uh, you're right. Uh, I took a uh, position about, I think, three, four, five months ago, well before coming back to the Prime Ministership, because I concluded in my conscience, through an informed conscience and a Christian conscience, it was the right thing to do. And let me tell you why. Number one, I do not believe people, when they are born, choose their sexuality. They are gay if they are born gay. You don't decide at some later stage in life to be one thing or the other. It is, it is how people are built. And therefore, uh, the idea that this is somehow an abnormal condition is just wrong. I don't get that. I think that is just a completely ill-founded view. Secondly, if you accept that it is natural and normal for someone to be gay, because um, that's the way they are, then it follows from that that I don't think it is right to say that if these two folk here who are in love with each other and are of the same gender should be denied the opportunity for legal recognition of the duration of their relationship by having marriage equality. If you accept that, uh, if your starting point is that um, homosexuality is abnormal, I don't know if that's your view. Well, we can go back and... Uh, well, I, I just mean, need uh, to well, know, because that's... I mean, uh, just, we will go back to our question. Just I just need to know. Just quickly to ask what, what it is that you believe Christians in particular are upset about. I think the, I think the thing is that, uh, you know, every uh, pastor, uh, we, we do marriages between husbands and wives. And, you know, Jesus said, uh, a man shall leave his father and mother and be married and that's the biblical definition. I just believe in what the Bible says and I'm just curious for you, Kevin, if you call yourself a Christian, why don't you believe the words of Jesus in the Bible? Well, okay, mate, thank you. Well, mate, if I was going to have that view, uh, the Bible also says that slavery is a natural condition. Because St Paul said in the New Testament, slaves be obedient to your masters. And therefore, we should have all fought for the Confederacy in the US Civil War. I mean, for goodness sake, the human condition and social conditions change. What is the fundamental principle of the New Testament? It is one of universal love, loving your fellow man. And if we get obsessed with um, a particular definition of that through a form of sexuality, then I think we're missing the centrality of what the gospel, whether you call it a social gospel, a personal gospel, or a spiritual gospel, is all, is all about. And therefore, I go back to my question. If you think homosexuality is an unnatural condition, then frankly, I cannot agree with you based on any element of the science. And therefore, if a person's sexuality is as they are made, then you've got to ask the second question. Should therefore their loving relationships be legally recognised? And the conclusion I've reached is that they should. And on the question of chopping and changing, I wrote a two or three thousand essay, a two or three thousand word essay, stuck it online months and months and months ago before returning to the Prime Ministership, so everyone would know why I had changed my position, the reasons for it, and it was the product of some many, many months and years of reflection in good Christian conscience.